hi uh, this project we are going to uh, see about again the multipath topology but the path selection is based on the link latency this is quite interesting project okay so you assume that you have the topology like this okay. each link have its own latency for example s1 to s2 have 10 milliseconds s2 to s6 10 milliseconds okay s1 to s3 5 like this okay to reach s1 to s6 we have a three paths go through s1 s2 s6 will reach 20 milliseconds go through s1 s3 s4 s6 the longest hopes the four hops are there okay this will have a 11 millisecond latency the other one s1 s5 s6 this will have a 101 milliseconds so we need to some applications requires the low latency Okay, low latency path uh, example uh, uh, wipe such kind of applications so our SDN controller needs to intelligence to measure the latency of the each links and select the path based on the lowest latency in the path okay uh, so in our case uh, in this example to reach h1 to h3 this is the lowest uh, latency path so how this works we first discover the topology using network x to build the uh, graph and other stuff topology graph so how we are measuring the uh, latency okay so controller is dean controller generates the ping packets between each links to measure the latency so s1 will generate the ping packet and send it out of the s1 i mean controller generates the ping packet and send out of the s1 this port which will be received by the s3 this port and which will be again sent it to the controller now controller knows what time the packet has been sent what time the packet has been received so the controller has the timestamp so now controller knows s1 to s3 link this is the latency okay so but there is a, a small latency may get increased as controller processing each packet uh, for example if this is a 5 millisecond latency controller may report 6 milliseconds okay because controller needs to generate the packet and receive the packet and calculate the uh, 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 latency difference and notify it okay so this is how oh, the the whole logic works let's have a quick demo okay. i'm starting here I'm starting the application. Okay, in the in the topology, we set a different uh, uh, latency on each link as as we shown in the uh, the same topology. Okay, whatever I showed this topology, right? Different latency we have given that in the. Uh, uh, in the mini net scripts okay. now let's see the uh, stuff here so we wait for topology to be discovered okay once topology is discovered and here the topology is discovered so we have to wait for one more print where it started monitoring the link latency so just give me a thing. yeah you see it right monitoring link latency it means uh, SDN controller generates the ping packet and start monitoring the link latency at every 10 seconds interval so it's good now we can start pinging so i'm just going to ping h1 ping h3 okay when you see here you see how many uh, uh, latency you get 22 milliseconds now let's go here and see have a closer look so it's calculating path from 1 to 3 so we have a three paths 1 2 6 1 3 4 6 1 5 6 so 1 2 6 total latency is 22 milliseconds 1 3 4 6 total latency is 16 milliseconds 1 5 6 latency is 103 milliseconds just open this diagram again you see it right so yes 1 2 6 <coughs> 126 latency is 22 milliseconds so in in the uh, file in the uh, link we configured 20 milliseconds there is a 2 milliseconds 3 milliseconds extra as processed by the controller 1346 is a 16 milliseconds 
we configured 551 okay and another path we configured 101 here 103 okay so this is how oh, the latency is measured and we select the lowest path 1346 <coughs> this is on the return path okay so that's the reason we see this uh, latency here okay this is purely on the data plane okay whatever we measured is probably little high because of the controller overhead but whatever you see here is a pure data plane okay whatever we configured this 5 5 1 10 uh, plus 1 11 milliseconds on forward direction and 11 milliseconds on the reverse direction that's why you see 22 milliseconds exactly okay okay thank you i hope you understand this logic you can try to uh, implement this